How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Kumbakarna. Kumbakarn. And we are going to be up against a Kernunos. Kernunos. Oh my goodness, why can I not say that? Okay. <clears throat> I got my water. Ready to game. Up against the real biscuit. Gotcha, gotcha. Who dare set foot in my way? They must be All right, let's go into a... Let's see. I think a Sands of Time into Bancroft's is a nice start for Kumba because he has long cooldowns. And that kind of lets me get my cooldown online a little bit faster. And Sunder's kind of a must on Kumba. It's the main way he can get kills. Now, in my opinion, Kumba Karna is not actually the good that good in duel. Like, he's not close to Kuzmo. He's not close to Ymir. Uh, in fact, he gets slapped a lot because it's a hunter meta. And while he can kill hunters quickly, his passive quickly becomes useless as well. Um, so he's already down that. And then his long cooldowns make it tough. But the thing that's awesome about Kumba is he can kill someone very fast and his ultimate's really short cooldown so that's kind of what we're going to be trying to do uh we'll, we'll see see so yeah, i might be able to get a little bit of damage in here he did get mannequins though which is why he cleared those so fast okay Maybe shit's under? Nah, we're good. With 790 max HP, okay. Took, a, took quite a bit of poke. Would have liked to take a little bit less, but that's alright. Let's pop a potion. We're going to be going to Bancroft's as well, just because Bancroft's one of the stronger items. One thing as Kumba, you'll notice that I will do throughout this video is whenever I use my Yawn, I will almost always wake him up right before it ends. And the reason for that is Kumba actually uh, has an attack speed reduction if you wake them up early. If you don't wake them up early, then uh, they don't have the attack speed reduced, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I should have sundered. Can't, sun can't change my mind after the fact. Although if I sundered first, he would have just ran away before I even hit him with anything. I do have my ultimate, so I should be able to guaranteed get this. Because if he comes over here, uh, I should hit him with the ult and he dies. Okay, nice red buff for the start. And because of my sands of time, I don't have to worry about my mana too much. Like, I feel like normal if I did not get sands of time, I'd be having lots of mana issues right now. But we are not. Okay, let's recall as well. Get our tier 2 Bancrofts, which gives 60 power. Eh, I, I don't need wards yet. Uh, next time I back, I should buy wards just because he does have mannequins. And mannequins take Steaming King almost instantly. Yeah, Kumba late game actually isn't terrible. <clears throat> it's like I don't know I don't know how to feel about Kumbakarna. It's like it's it's always so dependent on the matchup, I feel like. Whoops. And how long my opponent doesn't end up building defense. One thing I can do is actually kind of spam my ult a bit since it is uh lower cooldown and other abilities. Just to get some poke on him. That way hopefully if we have a super long time just kind of staying and fighting then by the time my alt comes up again i can uh kill him you know i forgot to turn on my custom god portrait thing you'll notice in some of my videos that the icon down here changes and that's because of a bot i precoded i forgot to turn it on i might turn it on next time i recall i always forget to turn it on I don't really have a great image for Kumba though. Okay, I should I should recall, even though my ult's coming up, he's already sustained a lot. We should get a divine ruin. Kernunos has so much life still. On his one, and in case he builds more life still, which he will. 
I've never fought a Kurnunos, so it doesn't go at least one hit, uh, lifesteal item. Okay, let's see if I can open the thingamajig real quick. There we go. That's the Kumba image. <laughs> I might change to something else. Okay, he's actually in a terrible spot right now. Am I able to kill him? Good stuff. Yeah, by ulting and put my, putting myself behind him, he really had nowhere to go. Uh, his best bet was probably to go in the jungle, to be honest. Because I kind of cut off his escape route. Alright, we should recall. No reason to stay. Like, I could get a few extra tower shots in, but that wouldn't help too much. Uh, cooldown wise. I might go Emperors. And and hear me out. Here's the reason. Breastplate would be just as good. Breastplate would be just as good. Um, and then late game, we would be overcapped and we could sell some items around. And that would be fine. However, I've noticed when I'm playing Kumbakarna, a lot of times that I'm, I'm diving my opponent or they're diving me. And if my passive activates, I'm pretty sure... I, I mean, I should probably double check it. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure Emperor's Armor passive will stay active even when i'm asleep and if that's the case then uh it can make my passive a lot safer when if he's ever un like attacking me and i'm under phoenix or it could just be better for when i'm being aggressive because i'm a very aggressive player emperor's armor is a great item it's an underrated item in my opinion Plus, Kumba has some issues taking uh, Demon King, so it's kind of just uh, my way of taking that. Oh, wow, I didn't get that. I'm actually going to die here. Okay. Use that for the CC, Mandy. <laughs> kind of in a funny way. Oh, he actually took a huge amount of damage from that, by the way. Yeah, that was a little scary. But, you know, I just don't want him taking so many buffs. He took red buff and blue buff. Now he's taking the minis. So that kind of sucks. Because if you look at the gold and the level, it's already pretty much even again. Even though I got one kill. Or it's getting to be pretty even. And obviously a trick with the one that I always talk about in the videos that you guys might not know about. Or some people might not know about. Is when you use Kumbakarna 1, the minion will fly in the direction you are facing. So you can do weird stuff like uh, use the one, completely turn around, and it'll fly behind you. Like, let me see. Kind of like that. So you can clear the wave at an angle uh, initially, or you can use it to slingshot into the enemy god. It's definitely my favorite part about Kumba. If Kumba did not have that, I probably wouldn't like playing him duel at all. Because it makes him fun. Now, I'm actually stronger at low health, so if he dashes into my... I double thunder and kill him, but he's... he's, he's not... doesn't look like he's doing that. Ooh. Close. Okay, his dash is down. If I can get near him... Oh my goodness, that should kill. <laughs> I messed up the, uh, when I fired my one, my throwback. I actually missed him. And it was looking kind of worrisome then. Uh, should I try to take this red buff? Now it's instant recall. Gonna actually upgrade this. And now we're gonna start working towards Divine Ruin. Get some wards, which I forgot to get last time. Second relic, we'll wait on his second relic. But yeah. I, uh, I missed my throwback and it was looking dicey and then I was barely in range for my ultimate. And because I have Sands of Time and Blue Buff, I had a little bit more cooldown than him. I was able to get my uh, get him before his dash came up. So you got Shogun. Shoguns is an insane item, by the way. If you're not building Shoguns... On auto attack gods, what are you doing? More of an insane item in duel, though. Okay. 
He actually might be dead here. Oh, that was <laughs> that was weird. Got him though. Red buff still up, but let's take tower first. Emperor's armor will allow me to do so. Let's go, Emperor's. I don't know why I used to call the item Imperior's armor. I have no uh, no clue why. I do that with items. Like Spear the Magus. I say Spear the Magus. I've been trying to correct myself to Spear the Magus, but uh, it's just I've been calling it that for so long. Alright, does he have his second relic? I didn't place my ward yet. I don't see a second relic yet. Uh, nope. He's saving it. Because if he gets... Let's say he gets... I don't know. Thorns. I, I don't think he would ever get thorns. But let's say he does. Uh, then I could actually get horrific. And that might actually be pretty good against Kronunos. Or I could get a blink. Blink would be amazing as well. Just that kind of stuff. Oh, I tried to turn it to hit him. That was too close to minion. Alright, come here. Come here, Kronos. Polly would be great, by the way. Oh, he might be AFK, actually. I'm not gonna hit him. <laughs> Even though I already hit him. I realized it as my two went off. Is he typing? Or... What's up? Oh, he moved. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I could take Demon King if I get Polynomicon. Polynomicon's an alright item on Kumba. Goes with the high power build. Looks like he's getting Aussie or an Executioner right now. What I want to do is I want to poke him out so that he has to run away when the wave gets here. Unfortunately, he will be able to dash that every time. Or pretty much every time. And now he can just recall freely. I hope he doesn't, but... Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna kind of just be like that until I get high enough level to kill him. Or... Or I take Demon King, which is gonna be so difficult to do. I mean, I got his relic, didn't I? I got his beads, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's think about Rotitude or Polly. Polly would help. Polly would help. Can't get my second relic unless I want him to counter it. Because I definitely don't want to get my relic here first. Because if I get something and then he gets horrific, oh, that would be so bad for me. I don't have it. I like, if my one's down, it's super bad. I'd have to ult. I could, like, I, it would be... I could deal with it, but it would be difficult. Wait. Oh, my one's not up. <laughs> I was going to do the trick, and it wasn't even up. Okay, this is exactly what we need to be doing. All right, he's pushing. Minions? Minions faster, faster, faster. Might be able to get a few auto attacks in here. on him oh now if only i had poly that would be maybe half his phoenix okay kind of low health here hope he dashes in though tries to fight me with my bancrofts that'd be hype Now, it may not look like it, but I can still definitely kill him. I can 100% kill him. Whoops. Try to angle it towards him. Mostly because of my Bancrofts. If I didn't have Bancrofts, this would be so risky. Should have used my two first. It wasn't up quite up, though. Should have used my two first before I woke him up. Oh, this is... Oh, this is so dicey. 
I'm gonna throw a ward here. I'm gonna go kill the wave. There we go! I, I heard him dash. I knew where he was. I saw the particle outline. Outline of where he was, just barely. I was like, oh, you're mine. Yeah, Kinsai. He actually did not get Ashi. Either way, though, Divine Rune is still worth it because of the the spring stats for our Kununos. Gives him increased life still. And look at that. The Emperor's Armor helps so well for taking that Phoenix. Good stuff. Again, we sacrificed cooldown for that Emperor's, and now that we have Phoenix, it's pretty much done its job. So, I can sell it at this point, but I'm not even full item, so there's no point to do so. Plus, might as well keep it in case uh, I have to have a Phoenix defend, which happens often. And our last item should be Rod of Tehuti. Kumbakarna uh, does so well with just max power. And that is what we are building pretty much with Polly. Uh, max power with defense and cooldown and stuff. So I guess not max power. I've always wanted to try Book of Thoth on uh, Kumba, but it's just his, his early game can be a little tough in some matchups. Okay. Oh, nice. I baited that. Ooh, nice beads. I actually think he would have been dead if he didn't beat that. Okay. But look at my ultimate. 60 seconds. That's not a long time at all. I mean, I guess it's a little long. That's all right. Um, What is he building now? Toxic Blade? Oops. I've been actually playing a new game lately with my brother. It's called Legion Tower Defense 2. It's on Steam. It's actually really fun. I don't know why I was just remembering that. It reminds me of a game I used to play in StarCraft. In the arcade mode that they had. Ow. Okay. Yeah, maybe should not fight here. Okay, let's clear the wave and leave. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is how we throw games. Just clear the wave and recall. He already got the red buff. No reason to stay. He's full health, full mana. Plus, I have gold that I can spend, so. Okay. I guess this is going to be a no second relic game. Again, in duel, it's best to hold on to your relic until your opponent has it. Um, sometimes, if you're behind, you're kind of forced into getting a second relic first, um, like a safety relic. But since I'm ahead, I have no reason to get my second relic until he does. Because I don't want him going horrific. And I might want to go horrific myself. Because that could be a death sentence. Ooh, I actually got him with that. Nice. Oh, no. I ulted too early. I didn't get to CC Mindy. Oh! The Kumba passive and look, the Emperor's Armor is activating the Phoenix, which lets my wave kill the Phoenix. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I will say I tend to avoid uploading the games where, like, I don't die once. It's just like a stop. But this game, I mean, it's pretty good. I got to show the Kumba Karna what he can do. And getting close Kumba games are kind of rare because usually, uh, usually it is one way or the other. Because you either get your build online and you can do a lot, or your opponent just shuts you down right away, and then you, it's really hard to come back. So, uh, so I, f I figure it's fine uh, with this game, but I, I I I try to get the more even games for you guys. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, my MMR is trying. I'm trying to get it back to where it was, uh, at 2300. Because <laughs> it went down to like 1700 and now I'm getting back. Because my, I don't know, my MMR fluctuates so much. But anyways, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching. And let me know what other guys you want me to play. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.